Folks, we have the ultimate Ultratech trailer lineup right here behind me. We're gonna take you through it today. They have a lot of options. Introducing a brand new trailer. It might become my absolute favorite. We'll tell you more about that now. And don't fret, okay? I know, trailers are expensive. If you need a cheaper option, maybe not quite as good as a trailer, but pretty darn versatile at a fraction of the price, we'll tell you about that later on as well. Now flanking me on my far right over here is gonna be the tandem axle dump trailer, all right? This is gonna be piston assisted to help dump loads that are in here. It's got a walking axle. All these tandem axle trailers are a walking axle. So if they go over logs or rocks or any other stumps, anything that's in your way, you'll see that happen. It helps keep a nice, stable, secure load because these are meant to be used off-road. These are not on-road type of trailers, so they're meant to be used stably behind your tractor, your UTV, your ATV, in those awkward situations. This guy right here is the brand new Ultratech flatbed trailer. Again, a tandem axle design. Flatbed, this thing has sides on it. Well, guess what? They are removable, all right? So that just enhances the versatility of the trailer. You can take the front and the back and both sides right off, fit those oversized loads if you need to, or shoot, maybe even just take the front and the back, leave the sides on, put some logs in there or something else. We'll tell you more about it in just a minute. Now this trailer front and center is gonna be the only single axle option. Of course, it's gonna be the smallest, the cheapest as well. An interesting note though, okay, all the silver, all the shiny silver trailers here, so everything except for this red one, are all made out of galvanized steel, all right? This trailer here and this one over here have been sitting outside, okay? Never been inside a day in their life for a solid two years, maybe longer than that now, with these others not too far behind it. I point that out to tell you just how well this kind of steel holds up. If you're not familiar with galvanized steel, this is why you get it, all right? You can leave it outside in the elements and it's not going to corrode like a, like a regular plain steel would do that's painted if you scratch it up and you don't uh, go there and touch it up, it's gonna wanna corrode and rust over time and you guys are familiar with that. So that's the nice benefit of this type of material here. It keeps the weight down, but it's durable too. So this is the, uh, the fancy one out of the bunch, all right? This is, well, the most expensive as well and I've never sold one of these, all right? And I'm, I guess that's probably not me doing a very good job at trying to sell these now, but the reason I haven't sold them is because they're so darn expensive, all right? They share a lot of similarities with the other tandem axle trailers, but it is a hydraulic or electric over hydraulic dump system. Uh, same thing with the tailgate. That as you, as you dump it up, that tailgate will swing back automatically as well with that same system in there. But personally, I just think it's too expensive. It's, uh, it's a very premium price point on this trailer where I just don't think it justifies the cost. And you can see the prices for all this stuff on our website. We include shipping to your location, all right? So if you wanna get one of these trailers, more power to you, you're welcome to do it. I don't wanna sound like I'm talking you out of it, but take a look at the price, you'll probably talk yourself out. Oh, you know what? My bad. This is the one that I've had along with that middle one for uh, two years or so, a little bit longer sitting outside. It's just the fact that it still looks just like this guy over here the same kind of condition. So that's how well these things hold up. It, it confused myself. So this is gonna be the tandem axle earth mover trailer, all right? So very similar uh, to this tandem axle over on the far side, but a higher tipping angle. Again, piston assist. These things have a very strong piston to help lift those heavy loads. 3,300 pound weight capacity that you can put in here, which is a gigantic amount. Um, this is gonna have a swing gate on it versus uh, a pull out gate on the other one too. We'll get more into that as well. So those are your five trailer options in a nutshell. All right, so this is gonna be the tandem axle earth mover trailer here that you're looking at. Now, a standard feature on all of the trailers is gonna be this, uh, this swivel tongue, all right? And that's really beneficial, again, on uneven terrain that you're gonna be using this on primarily. So if you're going down a road, you don't really need something like that. But when you're on all these wonky areas, going down trails through the woods, hillsides, and everywhere else, this comes in super handy. And you will see this greasable Zerk right here as well for easy maintenance. Now all the trailers except for that single axle are gonna have a, a parking stand as well, which is really handy. We just keep our single axle propped up with a little cinder block, that's a piece of cake as well. Now this latch here is gonna be common on most of the trailers. The hydraulic trailer does not need it though, and it's gonna be available as an upgrade on the single axle trailer. And the idea is just that it's a really easy lever to pull and release. These pistons here are, are under load, all right? And so it's gonna hold it in place when it's down, you pull it and release it, and it's gonna pop up on its own. And of course, you're gonna see a greasable Zerk here as well. So this handle is retractable, all right? It's gonna be used when you wanna put the trailer back down and latch it closed. This front panel is gonna be removable. You'll see a latch here on either side to remove it, but the back side is gonna have a swing gate on the, the Earthmover Pro, all right? And so that's kinda help 
to help you tailgate material a little bit, so to speak. Now you can, some folks have um, taken some screws out and just put some linchpins in there to kind of make it a quick release so you can take it right off if you want to. That way you can have an open front and back on there. It's something you'd have to do on your own, but it's a way to convert it if you want to. A good look here at the underside. This is gonna be a little bit beefier than the other tandem axle on the far side over there. Now you'll notice the underside of this trailer is gonna be reinforced quite a bit. Um, while they are both rated for 3,300 pounds, when you're filling this one full of earth, hence the earth mover name, it's really, you're really loading this thing up, all right? And so it's not only gonna have this reinforced bottom on there, but it's got plywood on the inside that's laminated, so it's a nice smooth surface to help material just kind of slide out freely. On this side here, you're gonna see a little cubby that you can put some chain in or some ratchet straps, and on the far side is gonna be a tool holder. And the final detail worth pointing out is gonna be the serrated front tooth bar on here. So if you do take this panel out, say you take that back panel off as well, and you wanna put some logs or some, some lumber or something else on there, it's gonna give you a little grip. That way your loads don't slide out. Okay, so this is the electric over hydraulic dump trailer. Very similar in construction to the earth mover that we just showed you. The same reinforced uh, uh, frame underneath it. Same features up front, the rotating tongue, uh, the parking stand, the serrated edge here, the removable front panel. You're gonna have plywood on the bottom, but also plywood on the, the kind of the angled sides on here too. Again, there's just a button that you can push to raise this thing up and down, or you can get an optional remote as well. And this tailgate will also hydraulically open as it starts to dump up. I can't remember, we'll show you in the video. It's either this opens up first and then it dumps or vice versa, but uh, we'll show you that as well. So again, it's a, it's a nice trailer. It's, it's the creme de la creme, right? But it is coming at a creme de la creme price point as well. So. Check that out again on the website if you want more information. All right, so here is the single axle, all right? The only one that they offer. Again, you're still gonna have that same swivel tongue that's on there. Uh, this is gonna be optional, all right? This upgraded latch and this handle and then this serrated tooth bar. Uh, not much extra, but it is handy to add on there if you want to. They used to include it at a higher price point, but I, I think, well, it's, this is just my hypothesis that with, uh, you know, inflation and everything else. They're trying to keep the overall cost down and it's not everybody wants it, but it's nice to have so you can add it on if you do want it and increase the cost a little bit there. Front and back panels are both gonna be completely removable. You can lift those right out. Single axle actually does make it a little bit easier to just move around by hand. Um, you know, when you have the two axles there, you know, the front and the rear tires kind of, uh, they don't fight against each other, but it's just more resistant. So this one moves around super easy. Um, Weighs a couple hundred pounds, not too bad, but you still have a 1,500 pound load capacity that you can put inside of here. Now, I probably need to back up and spend just a minute though, because for tractors, these weights, the 1,500 pounds and the 3,300 pounds that you can put in here are likely just fine, even for like a subcompact tractor. Um, you still want to always maintain the right tongue weight on there, you know, just like a truck going down the highway, if you don't have enough tongue weight, you get that fishtail effect and everything else. Well, it can still, that same kind of thing can happen or you can take too much weight off of the rear axle and, and lose traction there too. So you still have to use basic common sense, um, but on some of the smaller ATVs and maybe some of the smaller UTVs, you wanna be aware of how much weight you can actually pull behind those machines as well. And doesn't mean you can't get one of these, it just means be aware that maybe you don't fill it up all the way or max it out if you're on a smaller machine. So overall width, it's only about four foot wide, four foot and a couple of inches, and so that matches up really well with even subcompact tractors. You're not gonna have something that's sticking out way beyond there, so if you're going down tight trails and through the woods and all that kind of thing, you don't have to worry about things you know, sticking out further and whacking trees or anything else, or even just all the scrub brush along the side of your trails. But that's also good for the ATVs and the UTVs that a lot of those, well, the UTVs, like mine's five foot wide, I suppose, but ATVs are four foot wide, maybe not even that wide on some of them too. So you kind of have a narrow footprint, which is nice. Uh, the other thing I haven't mentioned yet is it's unique how these trailers have a sloping side. And so what that does is it helps get the load down in between the axles. So you have a, a lower center of gravity on there and you get a little bit more capacity in there as well at a lower overall height. You know, this, this next one we'll talk about, you can see how a lot of trailers out there have the bed over top of the tires. And so this one kind of tucks it down inside of there. It's just a different setup. I kind of like it. We're proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden, we're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, 
It helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of rim guard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at rimguardsolutions.com. Folks, so here is the brand new Ultratech trailer incorporating a lot of the same features that we've talked about already. Okay, so you're gonna have that walking axle, the tandem axle that'll kind of give and go as it needs to on uneven terrain. You're gonna have the swivel tongue up here with the Zerk as well. You'll still have the parking stand, the lift assist handle with this nice latch. So a lot of the same great features, but a totally different design. Now to put this in perspective as well, the heaviest trailer we've talked about so far weighs about 420 pounds. This one weighs 612 pounds, all right? So it's very beefy. It's gonna have a really beefed up underside. That frame underneath the body is gonna be really beefy as well. A 2,200 pound load capacity. This nice smooth floor on the bottom to help release material when you do have it in the dump position. But the extra versatility comes from the ability well, you can flip down these sides or completely remove them as well. And so you can take out the corner posts and then have a just a, a, a flat platform. So if you want to move pallets around, you know, you can throw a pallet on here, move it around. If you want to, well, even for us, we're going to move our patio furniture probably with something like this. We've used these other trailers to move furniture around, but it's tough because you don't have a, a nice flat surface. And so they're, they're kind of sitting in their cattywampus. Here you have a nice huge platform just to set stuff on. If you want to have long loads front to back, you can take these gates off or side to side. You have a lot of flexibility that you can't quite get out of some of these other trailers. All right, so this is going to be the final model that they offer. Very similar to the, the first model that we showed you, the earth mover, still a tandem axle. All right. Still have the swivel tongue, the parking stand, uh, the latch, the serrated edge on here the handle all a lot of the same great features all right it's a little bit cheaper um, it's not going to have as high of a dump angle it's not going to have the reinforced bottom that's in here it's not going to have the plywood floor to help the materials you know slide out easier um, but the front and the back panels are going to be removable just like this one all right that earth mover had the swing gate on the back side this one will have the completely removable panels on the front and the back all right so there will be a lot of optional accessories that you'll see out there in other videos and uh, maybe on ultratech's website and other places too you know there's going to be some options um, that are stocked here in the states but most of them are going to be a long lead time you know you just don't sell a lot of those and so it's just tough to keep that kind of thing in stock if you're interested in getting some options on there like log lifters or safety cages or or just other things, feel free to let us know. We can get you a quote on that and get you a lead time, but I would just go into it expecting it to have a long lead time to get those items and that. Um, if you want the trailer, get that now and then plan on having those extra accessories shipped later on. That's gonna do it for this Ultratech lineup, but I told you we had a cheap option to show you. Let's tell you about it now. All right, so this bad boy right here is called the Yard Glider, all right? It's got a couple of straps that come with it. You can put these uh, on some tow hooks or something else and drag it along or pull it by hand if you want to behind your, your tractor, your ATV, your lawn tractor, your zero turn. This thing doesn't weigh much, right? It's very, it's very lightweight, all right? It's made out of a sweet material called UHMW. We use this stuff all the time for snow pushers, uh, for cutting edges, for skid runners, that kind of thing, even snow blowers too. It's an awesome material. It's got a very low friction coefficient, okay? And so it allows it to slide very easily along the ground. It's incredibly durable. If you don't know about this material, just spend a couple of minutes researching it. It's, it is awesome, awesome stuff. And so you have the ability to strap uh, things down if you want to, if you want to put a big brush pile on there and just run a couple of straps, bungees left and right there to secure it on there. We've hauled all sorts of random stuff around here, had some fun with it. There's a ton of stuff that you can do with one of these. They're easy to store. You can just kind of slide it behind something if you want to. Shoot, I leave this thing sitting outside. This is, this is what this looks like after uh, a couple of years of sitting outside. It just gets used randomly to move stuff around all the time. It's just so convenient. It's an idea I wish I came up with myself, but I didn't. However, what you can do is get one of these from yardglider.com. You can use code GWT to save 5% off of your order. And so of course you can't dump a load with it, right? But you can haul it along. And if it's light enough, whether it's leaves or, or brush or something else, you can pick it up and turn it over. If you want to move firewood around with it, if you want to, you know, tow the kids around in the snow, you can do that too. You can do a lot of the same stuff that you can with a trailer for a fraction of the price. But one of the downsides is you can't back up with this. So make sure you have a, a way to, to kind of go forward and get around because there's no back up. So folks, we ship our products all over the country every day of the week. Get more information on these trailers and anything else you need for your three-point hitch or your front-end loader at goodworkstractors.com. If you want to see these trailers in action or anything else in action before you buy it, 
watch the other videos on our channel here. We have over 700 other videos showing you these tools, how they work, how they operate, the features of them, all that kind of good stuff. That way you can make more informed decisions before you buy. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Yeah.